is to the north. Whatever stands in our way, we will defeat it. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Game of Thrones Season 8, and also we're going to be talking about the prequel that is going to be coming sometime in the next few years. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Game of Thrones videos because as we head towards Season 8, I plan on making lots of videos. I'm going to make it my own mission to actually do videos for the entirety of Season 8 and leading up to it with the trailer and stuff like that. So please be sure to subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any of that. So today we've got some pretty big news and this is exclusive news via a source of mine and I don't think this has been reported anywhere online. Recently it was revealed that the prequel is set to film this October so that is pretty soon that's about two months off or so and so the people behind Game of Thrones you know they are going to incorporate new people as well into this new show but then also there's going to be people from the other show and they are prepping their story and whatnot you know getting everything ready but as of now I can reveal that right now as far as my source is concerned they have not written anything they haven't got a script obviously they're going to be prepping stuff behind the scenes in regards to coming up with ideas to put into that script but right now there's no script so that's why potentially it may be delayed a little bit or that's why they've gone for that two month time period so those writers can actually create that script and actually make it as best as they can for that pilot of the new Game of Thrones spin-off so that is my exclusive news to reveal to you guys in this video and so now moving on to the Game of Thrones season 8 stuff so this is the main stuff that I want to focus on in this video so we're gonna be going over all the real leaks as far as we're concerned because most of them have photos and also they have been revealed via very creditable sources. So in season 8 Jon Snow and Cersei Lannister will meet once again at King's Landing and we were able to find a photo online that was taken by someone at one of the Game of Thrones sets so I'm sorry I don't know who to credit for this but it's all over the internet. So the reason as to why Jon Snow and Cersei could be together at King's Landing is due to what I'm going to talk about in a minute, due to the fact that maybe Winterfell, after it's been taken by the dead, perhaps they retreat there and they try and get more help like they tried to do in Season 7, but obviously Cersei was having none of that. And so I do think this is them after they've lost Winterfell. So moving on to the next thing. So for Season 8, they've done the biggest shoot they've ever done. It was 55 nights, took ages to prep and obviously ages to shoot so it's a night scene therefore I think it's going to be a night fight because there's some photos that have been released which I'll talk about in a minute and in the photo that was released via the assistant director it says this is for the night dragons so obviously it can be in reference to them being dragons like they're really strong the people behind the show the people making this show as good as it is however with him using the word dragons I do believe that there potentially could be a dragon fight here maybe between the night king's new dragon that he took from Daenerys at the end of season 7 and perhaps Daenerys's dragons like like Drogon they're all gonna fight it out or perhaps it is just against these armies so moving on to the next thing which links into that last piece of information so there were photos that were released from the same battle and this can be found on the reddit I don't know exactly who to credit but you can see in the photos there is a lot of dead bodies and these bodies are from various places, from various armies, and the dead will be in this battle, and so I do believe this is at Winterfell due to the surroundings being a bit snowy. Obviously, these are just on-set things. Obviously, they're going to put a load of different bodies and obviously change the surroundings a bit in post-production when they actually go into the editing phase, which they're in right now. They're probably just finishing up doing the final touches in the next few months and you can see that there are loads of shields from the different houses so this is going to be a massive fight and the dead bodies are from various houses and various places from around Westeros and so that is from that biggest shoot that they've ever done which will be in season 8. So moving on to the next thing King's Landing will burn or at least a bit of it because a photo and some videos were released showing the King's Landing set actually going up in flames or at least a bit of it and therefore I think this is a scene later in the season once everyone's retreated to King's Landing and below that 
with the Night King and his army actually coming down south, I do believe that there is going to be a massive fight. And obviously we expect that, but for now we know that a bit of King's Landing will be burnt or perhaps all of it. We don't know. But that is it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more Game of Thrones videos, please be sure to turn on notifications and subscribe and perhaps leave some suggestions in the comments if you want me to do other videos before the trailer gets here sometime in the next six months or so. So anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.